Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, right in solo for this video, guys. Uh, Reese is going to be with us, I believe, on the uh, on the next video. Um, so what we've got here, this patient actually came in to see myself uh, a couple of days ago, actually. Now you can see what we've got here. We've gone straight in with the crocodile forceps here. Um, we've got very, very sort of dry skin plugs which are at the entrance of the uh, ear canal here so these are actually very very solid and i do apologize again about the brightness guys i i, I think i do change it at some point um but the first thing we noticed with these plugs is they it's it's quite angular so the problem that will give us is being able to get a suction grip uh with the zolna tube uh, just purely because of how dry it is and the angle. It's such a narrow sort of piece for us to grip onto. So most of this, most of this wax removal in this ear is actually with the crocodile forceps. So we're taking away this next little bit here. We generally tend to find issues like this. Um, maybe not so much in this case, but we do see it quite a lot with people that have issues with eczema or psoriasis in the ears. Uh, so we generally tend to see larger sort of plugs of skin building up. So we're popping back in again, slightly deeper plug. You can see again, uh, very dry, sort of almost brittle. I don't want to grip too tightly with the forceps here because what, what that's going to do is just tear and shear through that plug. So I'm trying to get a nice gentle grip here to pull as much as I can away. I've got another piece away there which has actually drawn that slightly deeper section forwards. Now you can, you can see here now, this deeper section, uh, it's, we're starting to get a little bit softer now as we're, as we're getting further into the ear canal. So this may be one of the last ones that we remove with the forceps in this side. Uh, thank you again, guys, for your uh, uh, your good wishes for Sunday. Uh, I think I'm ready for the run anyway. I've been training quite a lot, so uh, we're we're all ready for this hard to tackle this half marathon. Um, this, I think, is the part where we do switch over to the suction. You can see it's a lot softer here now, so we're actually breaking little tiny bits away. Uh, leading on from the half marathon, guys, a uh, com completely different uh, side story, but if you are having any issues with your ears uh, and you'd like us to check them over, either myself or the wonderful Mr. Reese Barber, um, we do have a link in our bio for the website, which will lead you to our clinics. Um, give the girls a ring, give the, give the reception a, a ring. Uh, we're more than happy to, to see you with any issues you may have. So we've got this standard size Zolna tube here. Now we're just trying to get a gentle, we're just trying to get a suction grip. It, we've got a really awkward consistency with this last bit now. So it's too soft for the forceps, but potentially a little bit too, little bit too dry for the suction. So I'm just trying to peel away this, this thin layer of dead skin on the side, which may possibly be holding uh, this plug in place. Here we go. What I'm gonna try and do here now is just lift. You'll see me kind of moving upwards. So, here we go. So I'm trying to dislodge this from the anterior recess. Because a lot of the time you tend to find these deeper uh, plugs will be holding into that, that sort of recess, which is a, a, a slight little dip or a trench that we would normally see just in front of everyone's eardrum. So we've got another big piece away there. And we're gonna do exactly the same with this piece. You can kind of see we've got almost like multi colors here. We've got like yellows, we've got browns. Um, we've got a, there's a mixture of the two here. We've got skin and wax mixed into, in, into well, both ear canals. You'll see exactly the same story on the other side as well. We, we would normally recommend regular follow-ups with any patient that we see similar to this. Um, it, we, we do tend to find with most people, it builds up very, very quickly. Um, so a lot of the time we'll see patients with similar issues like this or like skin building up. Uh, we will generally tend to see them 
uh, around about once every three to six months. Uh, some people can get away with 12 months, but you, usually around three to six months, we would normally suggest uh, a follow-up appointment. So a little bit of a wiggle here. Now, I'm hoping that's gonna pull that deeper section forward. So we've got another big piece come away here. Very hairy as well. You can see a lot of hair mixed into this. Now that's normally where the patient either trims the, the hair inside the ear or from general haircuts. Some hair tends to fall inside uh, and then gets pushed in with water, uh, with like showers or baths or swimming. Um, so this is where we normally see these pieces of like loose hair all kind of matted in amongst all these, these, these plugs. So you can see we're just removing plug after plug here. There's quite a lot in this ear canal. I do apologize guys, uh, we're having some technical issues with the video, so I would have just cut off and come back on the screen there. So we're carrying on from uh, <laughs> where we've just, uh, we've, we've just lost me for a few seconds. So we went back in with the suction tube to, to try and take these deeper parts, but we've kind of gone hard, soft, and then hard again. So we've got this slightly harder piece here now that we're just gonna grab with the forceps very gently pulling this. I don't, I don't want to try and risk breaking these apart. Um, so, you know, taking little tiny bits away again. So a gentle little grip with the forceps, come away quite nicely. I've got this another, another plug here. It's quite a lot in these years, to be honest. Oh, there we go. You can see that whole plug is starting to lift there and it's just broken away. So we're getting really good movements here now. We're getting this out quite easy. There's a lot more space for us to move and you can see the eardrum in the background. Here we go. Just taking this gentle grip again. Uh, don't forget guys, keep, um, uh, if, you, if you like your wax removal videos and you're enjoying our content, then uh, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, you know, give us a share, give us a follow, just, you know, on all the platforms. Uh, we'll appreciate it very much. And yeah, we're just tidying up these little bit, the little pieces of skin that we've got here on the sides now. Now you can see the eardrum in the background. Now, obviously looking a little more on the sort of abnormal side. Now the, the backstory to this patient is they've had um, several issues in the past with infections, uh, perforations. So you can see a lot of scarring on this eardrum having a little bit of a fight with this dry skin on the side here. There we go. So you can see all that kind of white sort of thicker skin you can see on the eardrum there. That's that scar tissue. And then you've got this sort of deep, almost like a pocket then that you can see there. Um, now that would have been from where the pre uh, patients previously had uh, a perforation. Um, they can either be very thin, thin layers of skin or sometimes they will show very deep white uh, which is uh, what we call tympanosclerosis, which is just scar tissue on the eardrum. Very similar story on this other side here now. So very, very dry again at the entrance. You can see I'm actually struggling to get a suction grip here. It's so dry. What usually happens with these drier pieces, you can, we've just got lucky there. So sometimes with a little bit of a wiggle, we, it, it can sometimes come loose, even if we are struggling to get a suction grip. But again, mixture of mixture of the both. We've got a we've got a lot of dead skin. We've got wax building up in here. God, you can you can see just how tough this is to try and grip onto. I'm I'm only doing very fine movements, but I'm losing that suction grip very very easily. So I'm trying to I'm I'm kind of almost using the the zona tube as a as a jobs and horn here. So I'm trying to get a little bit of a suction grip on the top of this skin plug, but, and then trying to pull it down at the same time. So similar movements to what we would do with the Jobson horn. And that suction, as, as well as the movement down, can sometimes help to roll this forwards. Just got another little piece there. You can start to see the consistency of this plug now starting to change. So this is now starting to become a little bit softer. So we've got a very similar story to the to the uh, to the other ear. Um, here we go. I'm lifting this off the ear, kind of trying to peel this away. That usually loosens the whole plug away, and sometimes we can get this out in in one go if we're lucky. Oh. 
little little wiggles. <laughs> oh, I hope you um, hope you enjoyed episode uh, eight hundred, guys. Um, it's uh, it was a little bit different, um, so you got to see a lot of the um, uh, a lot of the staff that uh, that work here. A lot of the other guys they've uh, they've enjoyed doing these little voiceovers as well. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was a little bit different for us, and uh, it was quite quite enjoyable showing you some of our favourite. Uh, say a favorite videos from the past. Oh, look, you yeah. wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Here we go. Just loosening up. So we've got quite a big piece away there. Quite a big plug. Uh, we've got more again. So it, it's. Again, very, very similar to the other side. This, we already kind of know this wax is going to be quite deep into the ear again. Um, just because of how compact this is. The patient has been using some oil, which obviously didn't really affect the front section of this sort of skin and wax. Uh, but you can see here now this is starting to crumble and sort of break away into the suction tube here. Got to be very careful in this area. We're getting to that really sensitive area in the ear now where the ear canal, uh, we're on a sort of the, the bony part of the ear canal here now. So this is very, very sensitive. Here we are. I've introduced a bit more olive oil here now just to try and seep into those little gaps that were around this plug. And this should should <laughs> help us take this out a lot easier. So I'm going to try and move this over to the side here. Now this is what I would do looking, <laughs> looking back at my, looking back at myself. Here we go. I start in the cup. Anyway, right, it's just, oh, there's a little bit left there, I believe. So, but we've just loosened this really big plug away now, which was blocking up the ear canal. Bit of a wiggle again. There we are, it's quite a, quite a big piece, that one. It's always quite surprising, these deeper sections, because the, the anterior, you can see there's still a lot more there. This anterior recess it will, it, it's quite surprising how much can get stuck in that, that particular region. And it's always very, very tricky to remove as well. We do have some really good luck here, so, this is what we always love to see when we're taking any wax or skin out of the anterior recess. Little grip on the, any little bit of this wax. And what we always like to see is it just all lift out of that recess, which is pretty much what happened here. So we managed to just remove that. Ear drumming in plain view there. Um, this ear drum is looking a lot better to the other side. There's no, no issues the patient's really had on this particular side. So this ear drum is looking a lot more healthy. But we're just tidying up these little tiny pieces that are left here. There we are. We're not overly concerned about these little tiny pieces that are left. Uh, but we just wanted to try and get as much as we possibly could. And there we are. Compared to the uh, before and after, there was a lot. And this is what we've removed. So we've got, what's that, six and a, six and a half centimeters. We've got two and a half inches worth of skin and wax there. And I was joking with Reese earlier. It kind of looks like a, one of those mixed bag of like raisins and sultanas you can get. Uh, love our food analogies. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you very much for watching this video, guys, and uh, uh, I shall see you. It'll be me and Reese on the next video. Um, so take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another, and we shall see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.